Hello there guys, welcome to part two of this uh, little battle on Civilization 6, I think this is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? 6. Yes. Uh, right, I forgot where I was. <laughs> I had everything on pause and I went and did some things. So where was I? Let's have a little look. Okay, we are spreading. Do something in here. So what do we want? Uh, we've got that natural wonder right next to us, haven't we? Oh, earthquake. Right, we've had 11, and this is now 12, earthquakes since Christmas Eve. Couple of days, 12 earthquakes, that's insane. It's not a bad one though, it's wobbling a little bit. It's quite pleasant actually. Um, So this gets an extra couple of faith points if it's next to a natural wonder, so obviously that's a good thing to do. So what else gets a benefit from being near a natural wonder? I think the only thing that really benefits is, uh, is the holy site. So I'm going to build a holy site next to our natural wonder. an extra three there. Can we afford this tile? Yes, we can. Bloody lovely. Oh, look, we're right next to somebody. We're definitely converting you when we get the opportunity. Right, we need to send trade routes up to there a lot then. We also need to get this converted uh, to Peepoism, otherwise they'll convert it. So yeah, that's gonna be quite important. But now we've got a little bit of an idea of what's close by. That's quite cute, isn't it? That crater lake. I don't know what crater lake is or where it is in the world. I've never heard of it before they just said here it is. So we've now got four cities. Right, I now need to start building maybe a little bit better defense. So I'll make sure everything's got a wall and also uh, start putting some units in there in case I get invaded. That's gonna be quite important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piss off. Goodbye. Right, they're starting to spread religions all over the shop now. We've got to get in there and beat them to it. Uh, right, we've got our archer in here. Let's, uh, let's have a little look around. Just dude, is he finished? He was next to Delhi, weren't he? Have we used him on this turn? He was there. He can't have used up all his goes already. He's only got, he's only spread two. That's shit. Right, I need to boost my religion a little bit. So let's see if we can do that. Um, I've got 88 faith. That's not going to be enough. Nowhere near. Right, I want to build. Oh, I can't build. I can't build one any yet. One on an apostle. So has this not got a shrine? Ah, oh, temple. I'm building that now. That's three away. Okay, right. We're not as far ahead as I thought we were. Right, I'm a bit worried about someone attacking me. I'm very. I'm spread a bit thin. I need. Uh, a little bit of protection going on. Is this builder just run into my uh, my area? Right, so you are going to start to. Right, so we, we can see the entire continent, can't we? Yeah, the sea all the way around it. That's completely useless then. So there's only Zanzibar down there. So then, little uh, little builder, uh, little warrior dude, you're going up here. It's going to take you a long time. There's an elephant. I've not seen an elephant before. What's it say? Oh, so that's a special unit for India then. 
That's awesome. I wish I could rotate the camera. That looks well good. Right. Sparta has completed a shrine. So we can now build missionaries in here, but we need 105, no, not missionaries, apostles. Okay, we can't build apostles in here. What the fuck do we need to build apostles then? Right, we need temples. Let's build a temple. I'm venturing up here just to have a little look around. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über deutsche und welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr könnt geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. Hello. Right, does that mean that we've opened up? Right, so. When we get an envoy, if we put one in there and one in there, they'll, they'll both count as two. So that's gonna really help us out. I mean, we need to take uh, the, the, what is it? Suzerain, I don't know, I have no idea how to pronounce this word, I've never heard it before, but if we take it off Gandhi, we need four and five in both of those, so we need that extra boost. are in there. Mm, Sparta could build yet another... There's no one down here. A Sparta could build another, um, what you call it, settler and come down here. In fact, Sparta could build two settlers and bring them maybe down here and down here. That would really help. Come on in, Sparta. Got enough money to rush it? 450? Are you kidding me? So let's build a queue then. Well, I'm going to put two settlers in the queue, but as soon as this missionary, uh, as soon as this temple's done, I want to build an apostle, so I'll shuffle the queue once that's happened. declares war on me, otherwise I'm a bit screwed. I need to build a military encampment somewhere, probably in Sparta, because I will be able to get my military to all the other places quite easily from Sparta. Okay, I'm, not, I'm now going to retreat just in case someone does start to attack me, because uh, Corinth cannot defend itself at the moment. Right, so we've now got enough, I believe, we've got enough faith to, uh, to rush. Oh, we need 105. We've got 103.3. We'll have enough next turn. So next turn we'll get another missionary sent to Delhi. Right. They're not happy with me. He just plain doesn't like me. All right, so I definitely want to retreat my borders a little bit and start protecting myself just in case he decides to attack. Oh, if we can convert Delhi, everything up here will go to Peepoism. That would be bloody lovely. All right, India's progressed into the classical era. Set your course by the stars. Not by the lights of every passing ship. Arbor District. Right, we want one of those. And now, we can now uh, harvest this crab and also this fish once we've spread out a little bit. So we want to get a builder up there. We've probably got enough to, to rush a builder. Let's do that. So we will rush in here, the builder. For fuck's sake, I hate this bloody you can't rush when you've got the queue active. It's so dumb. Oh, I need 195, it's not enough. So we, we have got enough to make this dude. 
Right, we need 265 for an apostle. Let's, uh, fuck it, we're not going to go with the apostle. We'll just keep trying to convert um, the thingy bob instead. Delhi. Right, what do we want? Castles, I'm working mathematics. Military engineering. What's that give you? I'm going with this. If we build an aqueduct, we're going to get seven points towards it. How long will you take to build an aqueduct? Five turns. Lovely jubbly. I'm definitely going to add one of those then. Uh, what? We'll put it there. There's nothing there yet. And we will shuffle this to here. Temple completed. Oh, my phone's vibrating in my pocket. No, that's nothing. That's not important. here because I, I don't want to use the squares next to the mountains because it gets no benefit from them but other things do get benefit from being next to mountains oh if I build it here though we get two extra culture it does mean that we lose that mine We've got a resource on this mine. Let's go in there. I want the extra culture bonus. Corinth needs walls, and so does Argos. Spire's got ten now. That should give us another, another trade route, I think. No. Might give us an, the ability to have another district, though. Yeah, we can. We can have another district. bonus from there. We got a bonus from there as well if we buy this tile and we haven't got to ruin the other one. Attacked. There's a lot more places up there. Are you gonna move then? I'm here influencing religions that I don't want them to influence. Good, good. good.
table. Nothing. Turning the queue off. The queue is just annoying. It doesn't work properly. You can't rush stuff and it's just annoying. I'm better off just doing things as I go along. Why don't you just run all the way to where I'm sending you in one go in case I have to keep giving you more instructions? That's annoying. Look, I can't stand on that square because there's already a missionary on that square. It's really annoying and they can attack me. So I'm gonna send I'm gonna send this one to here instead and start trying to convert that. Oh, Karunth has converted to Peepoism. That's brilliant. Right, you. I'm just going to stay on alert in there. going quite well as long as nobody attacks me. Lisbon? So let's have a look. I've got to wait until the, the turn finishes before I can do it. I want to see I want to see what Lisbon will convert to naturally over time. So it will convert to Peepoism. It's going to take 100 and... Right, so Delhi and Lisbon will both convert to Peepoism anyway if I stop trying to influence them. Uh, but they ain't, they ain't getting influence from... Um, hmm. They're not getting influence from anywhere else. Agra is going to convert in six. Right. We're going to go for Atsu to begin with, and then Buenos Aires afterwards. Lovely jubbly. This is going very well on religion front. What's this? that and loads of troops suddenly appear that might be like you know it's had a culture bomb it might be something similar but not culture like a military bomb or something i have no idea what they are there's there's quite a lot of stuff in here that i don't yet understand that i need to understand more right i'm going to build that encampment there all right i've got my uh, little missionary right next to hat Hatusa, ready to try and increase their conversion, and then we'll be going up to Buenos Aires. He's got three spreads available. Right, converted instantly, that's brilliant. So he can now continue up to Buenos Aires and continue. Ah, Agra's going to convert anyway in not much time, so he's going to go up there and start working on Buenos Aires. So if I look at who is winning, and go to religion. Right, one of eight civilizations converted to Peepoism. We're getting there slowly. I reckon we can convert Gandhi. Eight civilizations on this tiny little bloody map? Are you kidding me? There's no room. Then 
Zanzibar's not spreading anywhere, is it? There's no additional people or anything. I'm going to be taking this part of this continent down here with hopefully two more cities. Right. Uh, we've completed the Acropolis. So we can now do an amphitheatre in here. That is exactly what we're going to do. Brilliant. This is what I wanted. So, who do I want? So these are going to give me a bonus. Uh, they give me a bonus of uh, science. Whereas Buenos Aires gives me a building bonus. So I want the, the science bonus. So I'm going for this. That's going to count as two. Bloody lovely. I've not used that perk before. It's quite handy, isn't it? Well, they've all got um, requests as well. So what's the, what, what do they want me to do? Recruit a great merchant. That ain't going to happen. Trade route to the city-state. Which city-state? Lisbon. So I've got to do a trade route to Lisbon to get that one. And this one is trigger inspiration moment for the medieval fairy civic. Right, let's have a look at that. What is the inspiration? Oh, I haven't got it. The option is not available to have it yet. Can we have a look at the civ tree? Oh, I'll be bothered. So I want this warrior to sit in here in case someone comes towards us and attacks. So you've got to go here. That's where you're going. To spread peopleism. Germany has conquered Thebes. So we've got Egypt then. There's an encampment down there. Come on, Sparta, just build things faster. Defense is superior to opulence. All right, so what we got going on in here now then? What's new? Uh, bastions, plus six city defense, strength plus five uh, city range strength. That's quite good. Right, I'm not fighting barbarians anymore, so this is much better if they attack me. And 100%, whoops. Right, 100% reduction towards defensive buildings, so I'll build all my walls twice as fast. Uh, I'm gonna take this one and then change it to this one on the next option and just quickly build some walls. Uh, first envoy you send counts as two. Yeah, I'll keep that for now. Two great scientist points, keep that. Two influence points, yeah, keep that. Right, so the yellow one I might change. What we got? 50% production towards settlers. Right, I am about to build two lots of settlers, so I'll get two for one if I do this. We now have a holy site. Oh, no, I was thinking of uh, natural wonders. Right, I'm going to put this on instead of my urban planning. Job done. Because Sparta will start building those settlers after this next turn. Right, this warrior, I want them to just fortify in there. Right. Let's have a look at the civics tree. So where's the one? Okay, this is here. Maintain four trade routes to get the boost. So the boost is what they wanted me to have. Uh, so maintain four trade routes. Uh, 
Farm improvements now gain one food from every two adjacent farm improvements. So if you've got two farms next to each other, we get an additional one food. Uh, we can form an alliance which could be really, really handy because we're quite weak. So if, if we form an alliance with somebody and we go into a war, they will also go into the war with us, which could really help us out. So we are going to go with the alliance. I want to build this. form an alliance with Zanzibar, if I can. Uh, they seem to have quite a formidable army. If they get angry and want to attack anyone, it's going to be me, because I'm, I'm the only person there. And I also want to put a couple of new cities down here, which will be very weak, and they could, they could the quite easily take them. The more intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. Right, this, this, uh, this dude here, the military engineer, is quite useful because he builds a fort uh, and then you can kind of like protect people whilst you're going to attack things. Right, so Argos has completed some walls. That's good news. So now it can attack something if it comes close. And we'll, uh, we'll pop a library in there now so that we can start getting some more science. venture into the sea on this little map. Not just yet, might do once I come down to this bottom corner. I don't like any of these. Uh, I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with this because it's only gonna get three to unlock it and I don't really want any of them. So that will hopefully then show me a different option. Uh, well, if I put those two farms next to each other there, that's going to give me... He's only got one build left, that's annoying. Uh, I'll do this one anyway. Right, let's start spreading peepoism to Buenos Aires. Oh, they've converted straight away. That's amazing. That's going incredibly well. Peepoism is spreading over the globe. Come on, Delhi. And Lisbon as well. I, I might just uh, run that, uh, that dude all the way to Lisbon. I wonder what religions are going on up here in the fog. trying to spread Hinduism a lot. I'm going to run him all the way to Lisbon, that, that missionary, and hopefully he won't get killed on the way there. We have got enough for another missionary. We've got 121, so we will have enough for another. We can, we can pop into Delhi again and have another crack at that. Right, I could run into Lisbon or venture out in this direction and see what's there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go that way, open up, see what's there. Or if I walk him towards Lisbon through this fog, I'll see what's in that one. So let's build this, uh, this farm. walk him in this direction and, uh, and we'll probably pass another town on the way and we'll see what religion they are if there are any and we'll convert them if we can. Right, so we now have, let's get rid of this bloody nonsense. So we've now got the ability to open up Buenos Aires, lovely. I don't know whether we're going to meet any more city-states, so I might change out that bonus that gives me two for the first one. Ich verstore meine Feinde und habe ihnen helft. 
Auch ich. Piss off. No one likes a bully. And Peepo is only spreading noisily. Well, Sparta's now halfway through his first. Uh, what's it? Oh, it's so annoying how, um, how crossing a river takes up too much of your turn. We're going through a forest. I haven't got any wonders at all. It takes so long. We'll have a look down here with our, uh, our missionary and see what we've got. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Right. Castles. Education, it's got to be, hasn't it? You can get universities then. So, earn a great scientist is what is going to help us to boost education. Let's have a look how far away we are from that. So, great people. Let's get rid of all these tool tips. You can't just turn them off, you have to cycle through them until they're done. There we go. Right. We're nowhere near on any of these. We should be near on a scientist because we've been putting points into scientists. So. If it were, oh, oh, we've already got a profit. Yeah, I was thinking, why is the profit still there? Right, we are very near. 13 to. Um, Turns away on a great scientist. So triggers a eureka moment. Three random technologies from the Renaissance or industrial era. That's bloody lovely. Right, so we are 13 turns away. You can spend money or faith, which I don't have enough of, to get them quicker. So I, I'm not going to get them in time for that perk, but that's the only thing that we're working towards is a great scientist. And it's a good one as well. That's going to be lovely. Right, we have a trader. So... Let's have a look, see if we have... Um, Lisbon, I think, wants a trade route, doesn't it? So Quest is a trade route to Lisbon. Lovely. What's this one want? Earn a great merchant. And what's this one want? Trigger inspiration for the fairies thing. So this, this trade route then is going to Lisbon. So shall we move it closer first? Lisbon's all the way up here, so I think I'll put it... Put here in Nossos. Alright, so move to there first. And then we'll, we'll set you up with Lisbon on the next go. quite a peaceful game isn't it there's not much war breaking out we had a little bit of trouble at the beginning with the barbarians and that was it right so this has got to go to lisbon then oops wow it's going to give us nine gold uh and also it's going to spread peepoism to lisbon which is good and it's going to give us that other little boost that we requested so that is brilliant for lots of reasons that's brilliant right so this dude wants to go all the way down here one of these. That's an encampment there. So I'm going to go on top of that encampment and I'll get the benefits of being next to this to, as well. Hmm, could actually put some more right there. That'd be lovely. So we've got another envoy. Oh, it's not giving it us yet. We've got to end our turn before we get it. Right, so that's quite handy. So we can just go here and, and use our ability. I'll wait till next turn. Have we got this? Why haven't we got this envoy? 
Oh, it's already put it on, so it has awarded it to Lisbon, I believe. I'm going to get four in here to take that. So we'll focus on this one next. Oh look, I thought that was C. It's a, well, it was C before, wasn't it? It's now opening up a little bit. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service is like a fortress made of papers, forms, and red tape. Right, let's have a look what new policies we have. Uh, we might be changing that one that gives you two envoys for the first one because I don't think that we're gonna meet many more city-states. So that is a wild card, so we can put anything in there. Might go for that, because I'm gonna garrison a unit in every city. Actually, should we just try and get some great people? All right, let's have a look through all of them, see what we got. How are we doing? We're doing all right for gold, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, I did say I'd put this in, didn't I? That limes, though, 100% production towards defensive buildings. I haven't built walls everywhere yet, so that's going to half the requirement on walls. I'm going to put this in as a wild card. So I want to keep that, the rest of that. Right, I'm still building one settler. I could do with changing this next time. Got a few trade routes now, so that that one there would be good. We've got quite a few holy sites, so I might do this one. We've got a holy site in three cities, I think. So I might do that. Right, done. Right, divine right. Oh, we can change governments then. Monarchy will be open for us. So that could be good. Yeah, we're going for that. Risk aggravating Gandhi. I hope he, I hope he doesn't attack me. So Mumbai is now also Peepoism. It's just Delhi. I've just got to keep bombarding Delhi. Let's see when Delhi's going to convert naturally if they don't keep getting more influence from elsewhere. So annoying this bit is, you can't see when it will convert into it. Right, look at this on Delhi, okay? It could still give you the information as to when it's gonna convert on that massive box that's just popped up, couldn't it? But you've gotta go off it to be able to see it, and sometimes you just can't see it. So it converts into 100, in 109 naturally, and that will stop it from influencing these other places as well. Peepo, going very well. I've got 200 faith, so I will build another missionary in here and send him to Delhi. We have yet another earthquake, it's insane. Since Christmas Eve, it's just been constantly shaking. I mean, they're not strong at all. We, we're just moving a tiny little bit. 
But yeah, unbelievable how many since. So what, there was 11 earlier, and that's two I felt just. And if, they, if they're below a 4.5, sometimes you just don't even feel them, but I get an alert on my phone to let me know. But this one and the one just a little while ago were definitely 4.5 or higher, because I can feel it. Yeah, it's, it's already stopped, it's only a, a short little wobble. Yeah, unbelievable, over the past three days. Alright, let's have a little look at what we're doing then. That settler's got quite a long way to go. I hope that Zanzibar doesn't get angry with me. Let's see if we can make friends with Zanzibar. German Empire, Egypt, India. Where is it? Can we just click on it? What is it? Is it? Is there a person that rules the place? No, it's just like a city-state. I don't really know how this works. So is this... They haven't got a ruler? At all? I'm not sure how them city states work. That's different to any other Civ game I've played before. I've only played Civilization Revolution since uh, since some of the very, very early ones of these. I think I played, I can't remember. So it's all, a lot of the stuff I need to get into that. Um, I need to get in and, and find them out. Yeah, I can be one of their cities. Come on, Gander, you're a peaceful man. Don't start war with me. We're going to convert more of your cities, for sure. We're going after Delhi. Come on, Delhi. I can't walk on that space. That's annoying. So I'll get there in one turn if I walk on that space. There's no one on that space. Look, why can't I walk through here? Oh, there's an encampment. Oh, they're building an encampment quite close to me. That's a little bit of a worry. Right. Let's have a look then. Let's start building some sort of... Uh... Is anyone in there already? No, there isn't. So we'll pop in here. An archer. So that we've got a little bit of defence if anyone starts to attack us. We do need to start thinking about these things. How long before my next uh, settler's ready? Oh, hang on, it's asking me to do something. Yeah, I want you to go all the way down here. Why didn't you do that? I gave you instructions to go all the way down here. Well, there's someone on there now. That's probably why it stopped doing it. Well, walk to here then. That's a good place, look. I'm going to go to there. Well, I'll go to here and then decide when we get close. speed up this any great scientist oh we're close on that we're so close all right let's um let's make another missionary to send on delhi piss off gandhi again <laughs> it amuses me that everyone's going to be worshiping Filippo. <laughs> right, Argos, uh, you have an archer and you've got walls. Why isn't my thing working? There he goes. Can't build an encampment. I need a population of four. I haven't even got four population. Let's improve our population then. Uh, right, water mill do. Yeah, 
I should possibly make some builders and start upgrading things. Why do you keep stopping? What's wrong with you? Are you blocked? Like the entire way? That's so bloody slow. Right, you're going this way now. I think it's when they keep putting military on places. You can purchase... Yeah, we've just done that. Uh, wonder completed. Right. Negotiated peace. Cleopatra has made peace. Buenos Aires have made peace as well. Right, you are going over here. What you got to go all the way around there for? It's not that. I'll walk you to here and then hopefully... Oh, it's because I can't have them both on the same square. But if I move this one to here... Ah, oh, look, back there, they can attack me. They attack me and kill me, it lowers my influence like, by about 200 in all of the close by cities. But if they attack me and they lose, uh, then it doesn't give way around. It gives me a boost and uh, lowers them. So yeah, sometimes having a fight, the religious fights close to a few cities can really benefit you because it, it's not just the city you're standing next to, it's any that are close by. All right, yet again, the settlers need instructions. What's that there? Is it cotton? Yeah. Oh no, sugar. one pace this way first so that my other my other guy can go to the, this side oh that stops their current religion that's bloody lovely but if this if they their religious person attacks me then it'll get them back quite easily Going well. And of course, the more followers of my religion, the more money I make per turn. Uh, because that's one of the bonuses of my religion. I think that's what I chose. Good job. Should I put them there? That's got water, it's got that, that sheep, it's got cotton. So, I'm going to leave this archer right now. Shall I or shall I put, put him round towards this? No, I'm going to leave him here. There we go. Well, I'll go to here because then they can't attack me. They can't reach me. I don't know whether you can convert... Uh, like a, a main city. I'm, I'm pretty sure you should be able to. Let's have a look how we're doing so far. So how many people in Delhi believe in us? Right, four believe in us. So if we're going to do it, we are going to do it. And we've got a massive influence from the surrounding cities as well. Like people talking about us. Come on, Bebo. Uh, what are we building in here then? We are needing more, more people in here. Uh, I can't get them. What projects we got. I'll build a builder. 
that. I don't know if I've got much I can improve in here, have I? Not really. Right, I'll just go for the monument then. If Delhi converts, then Lisbon will be under lots of pressure to convert, and they all convert. That's going to be so good. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. That is, to dispute what God may do is blasphemy. So it is sedition to dispute what a king may do. Right, so we have now the monarchy uh, unlocked, I think it was, wasn't it? Right, this gives us six, like, little trait bonusy things, whereas what we are at the moment only gives us four. Uh, it also gives us uh, bonus influence points, uh, plus 50% production towards defensive buildings, plus one housing for each level of wall. Right. Oh, that's good then. So if we increase our walls, we get housing boosts. So we're going to be changing over to this, mainly because we get more slots in here. That's what we're going for. So, mm. oh, we don't we don't want any of these economic ones, do we? We want we want the one that we've already got on that. Uh, we don't want that. Right, plus six city defense. Do we need it? No one's attacking us at the moment. It seems like a waste. It would be a better idea to get this dude. Right, so the, the other ones that we can have then are only the military ones, so let's have a look. So we've got 100% production towards defensive buildings in there at the moment. We're not building naval units. Right, we'll be having this one because we are going to be putting uh, those in all of them. just take the gold boost so it doesn't use so much gold for my armies. It's good, we've got another boost. Have we got um, anything in here? That'll give us that boost on the farms when we've got two farms next to each other. I don't think I've got two farms next to each other anywhere. Um, I don't know what those policies are. I don't know what those policies are either. We're going to go for this because it's the quickest one. So to boost it we have to build an encampment. We're not going to build an encampment within five moves so we're not going to boost that. Let's see if we can convert Delhi. Yes! Oh, lovely jubbly. Right, so we're now going to pop over to Lisbon and start working on converting them. They might convert back. Sheep, we've got fresh water. And on the next move, I'll build that. And I'll bring the next settler down to this square here. And we'll 
get uh, we'll get a bonus when we enter that square. It is the mark of an friendly. educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Right, if I build that, my uh, missionaries can do one extra spread each time, and I get plus four faith. But I don't think I'm really going to need it. I think I'm spreading quite nicely as it is. So yeah, we want to build this. And you can go, you've only got one spread left. So you're going to here as well. Right, and next settler is ready. So you're going all the way to here. It's gonna take you a long time to get there. I'll tell you what, I'll go through my own town. I'll go to there first. Which had some roads built. Right, so building medieval walls. Uh, that's definitely something we want to work towards. So we can upgrade the walls on all of our things because our monarchy uh, gets a benefit from each level of wall that we have. So increasing the walls on, it, on everywhere is going to be a good thing. So we're going to be building a wall around here if we don't. We've got the wall there already. We'll put, that's that's not going to take long. We'll put that in. Right. This place wants a wall. And this place wants a wall too. All right, everywhere's getting walls. Uh, we have got still that perk for building uh, defensive stuff cheaper. So everywhere's having walls and then everywhere's having upgraded walls. So it's the next two set of buildings that we're gonna do on each of our towns as soon as they become available. Immediately, right. So these, this last missionary that I'm currently sending up to there, can go somewhere else. Where are, where are they? There they are. So you, I don't want you going where you were going. You're going somewhere else. You're going to go wandering around the world to find somewhere that is not worshiping peopleism. Let's have a look how we're doing up here. All right, religion. Peepoism. Two of eight sieves have converted to peepoism. Right, a lot of people are liking Buddhism as well. We're going to have to sort that out, aren't we? Peepoism is far more important than Buddhism. Right, I want to get a religious victory. We're going to have to venture over here soon, aren't we? See what's going on over here. So if I build that... Um, I haven't gone into the sea yet on this game at all. Right, you are going up here. All right, go on then. And start to open up the fog. Accumulated enough faith to make another missionary. Now, you can also spend your faith in here and break people. So, ah, I've got enough. So I can take this and they trigger an Eureka moment for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. If they do that fairies thing. If it's natural to kill, which I don't think how come men have to go into training to learn how? Right, let's get off all this for a moment. Uh, right, what did that just give us? This is a new one. Uh, plus 30% uh, building production towards encampment districts. I haven't got any encampments yet, so that could be good. I'll wait till I've built walls everywhere. I ain't taking that lines out yet. Nah, leaving that as it is. Raid. I'm not raiding anybody. Might do later, not at the moment. Okay. Right. We are building things. I really want to build, I can't build anything. I need to get this population up. Why isn't the population going up here? It's 
from six. Oh, it does increase in three turns. So it will get, it will get there in a bit. I'll do this project. Uh, six farms to boost that. I'm gonna go with feudalism. Argos has only got three people in it. Argos could really do with something to boost, like granary, and that'll boost the people a bit. This bloody thing is so annoying. Right, so, do we want building boost, or do we want this? Ah. Well, if we get four in here, we're still this, I don't know how you pronounce this, Suzerain, 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 the reign of Susie. So we, uh, we'll steal this off Gandhi once we've got four in here. So we'll work on this one. And then steal, steal that from Gandhi. Right, you are going all the way down here. In a big straight line. There you go. Nice and easy. Right. Where does it have to be? Be on a campus. Have I got a campus? Oh, there's one all the way over there. Can you get there in one one move? No. Nope. Can I just transfer you to Argos and then put you in there? Transfer, yeah, to Argos. Can I just transfer you directly in? That'll be good. No. Nope. Is it just not working properly? Select. Transfer to city. Transfer to city. Argos. Right, good. Now I'll just take one move. If you see a castle under fog, you must walk there to meet the extraordinary dreams. Right. Well, I'm not. I'm going to get iron working out of the way because it takes hardly any to get it. And then it just opens up more, and I'll move into the next era the quicker uh, doing that. Right, Sparta's now got 11 people, so it can build another district. Medieval walls, ancient walls must be repaired. Right, in that case, let's repair the ancient walls. In that case, let's build a builder to repair the ancient walls. Do I have to do that in a project? I think I do, don't I? Project. Repair outer defences. Brilliant. Right, so you are going to build more walls. Everyone is building walls. Right, so... I thought this was Gandhi and now it's nobody. But now it will be me. So what's my bonus from that? So my bonus provides you with one of each strategic resource you have revealed but do not own. That's good. Uh, my bonus on this one. Uh, your trade units are immune to being plundered on water tiles. Oh, well, that doesn't help me at all. On this one it is uh, a whole load of shit. I receive various luxury goods. These cannot be earned in any other way. And provides six uh, amenities. Right, that's brilliant. What's what's going on this one? So I've got this then. I need six to get this. Your bonus resources behave like luxury resources, providing one amenity per type. Bloody lovely. Right, we want to get six in there next then. Unless one of these gets stolen from me and we have to fight to get it back. Right, now, get yourself in a campus and do your magic thing. 
Right, so we have boosted industrialization. Thanks. We have boosted printing. That is printing that I want spread my religion faster. That's what I was trying to think of earlier when I said writing. And we've, we've boosted cartography. Right. Cheers for that, dude. Settler, why are you not just walking to that location like I said? Is this the same settler? It is, isn't it? Why, did, why were they in Argos? I didn't tell them to do that. Right. What's going to boost this? Build an iron mine. It's only three turns away anyway. What's going to boost this? Build six farms. I don't know how many farms I've got. I do want to build a builder though. And I've got enough money to just buy one. Where will my builder be handy? Here. So let's buy a builder. Uh, I can buy another one as well. So where else would a builder be handy? Up here maybe? Where Argos need, needs a bit of boost. I don't think there's much I can do in there. I can't believe every city that I can see is converted to my religion. That's just absolutely awesome, it really is. Right. Uh, yeah, you, you need to wander into the wilderness and see, see what there is. You can get to there, can't you? Oh, that's an encampment, so you can't go there. Germany has declared war on Amsterdam. That's a bit harsh, hasn't it? Declaring war on just a city. progress towards feudalism. I need you just one more farm. That's amazing. Right, Sparta. I think you might have to build a new district soon. Shall I build an encampment? Am I going to go for my amphitheatre or my library? I'll do the library because it's only two away. Ah, oh, no, and I'll do my walls because I get an extra bonus for them. We have, right, we're going in Buenos Aires so that we can uh, build this up. We've got to get to six with it though. But at least we get the bonus for having three. Ooh, we have two points. That bonus of getting two for the first one has really helped us out on that section. Fuck off. build that encampment in Sparta and start preparing my army. I also want to start moving off this continent. I'm not sure what goes in that direction. Uh, I'll have a look there first. Where is this builder? Uh -huh. So yeah, build the plantation. Next. 
Awe, Viator. Augusta e Roma Imperator Caesar Traianus Sum. Quis es? Qua e terra patria vocas. Hello. Place that we can convert. How many have I got left? One. One spread left. I kind of want to just wander around there though. I'll make some more missionaries and send them in that in that area. So open borders and five gold per turn. Yes, I will accept that, Cleopatra, even though you've been a bit of a bitch to me, to be honest. Don't you not opening my borders to get your troops close to me so that you can attack me? We'll build another missionary dude. Brilliant. We've got another The boost. Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. With the advance of feudalism came the growth of iron armor. Until, at last, a fighting man resembled an armadillo. <laughs> All right, so what's new then? Let's have a look. Uh, feudal contracts, plus 50% production towards ancient, classical, medieval, and Renaissance-era melee, anti-cavalry, and ranged units. So that's pretty much everything, isn't it? So I am going to start building units soon. Uh, plus 30% production towards encampment district and buildings for that district. So I think I might take that feudalism, uh, feudal contract. And I'm going to put it over the top of my cheap army people. And I will build the encampment and start building some military. So we'll do this uh, because that's going to boost us so that we can build crossbows instead of just normal military. Ah, this enables to build the forts, which I was talking about earlier, so that's quite useful if you're going to try and attack someone. But we're going to go with this first of all. And what do we want in here? This is the thing that he wants a boost for, so maintain three trade routes to get the boost. And that's going to give me the extra thing. Trade route. No, we still can't. So we're not going to get the boost on that one, definitely not. Everyone's going to build walls. Corinth needs food. Well, you'll get more food now, because I've just built this thing here, look. That gets you more food. You're getting free food from that, and you've got a farm. Hang on, is that a farm next to a farm? They're both farms, aren't they? Yeah, so you get bonus food from both of these. What more do you want? Right, can the builder do anything else in here? Not yet. I'll leave, I'll leave the builder in here because it, it will be able to do stuff in a minute, but not like this. Hmm. Don't want to do your Converted them straight away. But I did want to have a little look up there and see what else was there. And they've actually got a, a request for us as well. Construct an industrial zone. Oh, that's easy enough. Let's construct an industrial zone. Let's 
this request. Great merchant, well, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna make an industrial zone. Can we put one in here? Yes, we can. <laughs> right. It wants to be near a mine or a quarry to get extra bonuses. Well, that square there gives us two extra bonuses. And so does that one, and there's nothing on that one. That's where it's going. Beautiful. How's my settler cracking on me walking down here? Where is he? He's walking very slowly. When you play the game on normal speed, and then you play on this speed, you just think, oh my god, I'm progressing so quickly, without thinking that everyone else Remember on the map is progressing quickly too. too. Not just machinery. Uh, right, good news, we can now make crossbow men, and we can do the lumber mill improvement. Uh, we'll go with printing, because then our religion spreads even faster. It's going to spread faster than we can. Right, so you want to build that. And where is our... Why, why have you stopped moving? Hmm? What's wrong with you? Get down there. We've still got, let's have a look at uh, what religions are influencing anywhere. So we are the majority influencer of all these ones that are on the borders. That's really good news. That means they will not be uh, converted unless they make uh, missionaries. this builder. He's got one build left. Um, can't really do anything yet. We can do that. Uh, why isn't it giving me... Oh, the lumber mill's on my next thing, isn't it? So, skip your turn. You just got to wait until the lumber mill's available. business. Right, they're standing on the square that I want to build my city on again. That's annoying. Right, we can now build the, uh, the lumber. I reckon I'm going to move this builder down here and wait until I've got my new city and use him with the city. So I shall start him walking down here. Can't build it on there, that's not, not very good. Oh, I'm gonna move you to somewhere else then. Right, walls. Walls, walls, and more walls. Why well, we've still got them cheap. Is everywhere building walls? Apart from Sparta. Has Sparta already got all its walls? Right. Buildings. Medieval walls. Right, good. So that's building the thing that gives us that extra convoy. So I want all these walls to finish, and then I want to be able to change my policies. 
Oh, I do want to build the encampment, though. Do I really want the encampment? I hope they move off that square. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to build anything on it. build from here a couple of missionaries to send out oh we can upgrade our archers now I ain't gonna bother doing that just yet <coughs> oh we haven't got a holy site here we can't build missionaries uh, I thought we had Missionaries from you. Good. Right. We'll build a couple of these. And they can wander off into the wilderness and reveal the world and spread our religion as they do. I don't mind being denounced, just don't start a war with me. Well, they've moved into the Renaissance here. Ah, oh, brilliant, they've moved off that square. That's, that's fantastic, so I want to get on it. Come on, this bit takes ages. Right, so you are going up here into the fog to see who's where and what religions they have. And you guys spread our religion as you do. So you can wander off up there. Uh, and so, so can you. You could wander off up there as well. What's on here at the moment? A mine. It's got, it's got us a plus three though if we go there. Let's go in there. It's not only a mine, it's a mine that gets copper. Right, we'll build some else. University for now. Yay, finally made it. Right, so we are going here. We want that builder down here. Shakespeare. I don't understand what the writing of the books does. I have no idea what that's all about. Let's see if it tells you. Activate. No, it just says that he writes these books. I don't know what that does. Improves your culture, maybe. Uh, so what is this? Some more great works. Uh, 
have no idea what any of that shit does. So we are going to make a couple more missionaries from, we'll make them from here because they're a little bit closer to where we need to send them. Looking forward to properly getting into this game and, uh, and finding out all the things that you can do in here that you can't do on Civ Rev. I love Civ Rev to bits. I've totally completed it in every way that you can. And then I deleted my save and did it all again. Like every possible combination of winning that you can do. But yeah, I think it's an awesome game. Right, you are going into the fog. So you're gonna go this way. In fact, I'll, I'll do these two farms right next to each other, once I've expanded into them. <coughs> Wish you could choose how it expanded. I don't think you can, but that would be quite handy. Terrain. Go on, then move. Oh, we have a different religion. How dare you! And we've entered the Renaissance era, so what we're only a few turns behind. For? The printing press has done for the mind. Right, so this now enables our religion to be more powerfully spread, which is brilliant. Uh, so let's have a look at the influence on that one that's just converted. And see... Right, in, in 24 it will convert back. So we, we really could just leave it, and in 24 turns it's going to convert back anyway. I've got a person right next to it. I'm going to give it a bit of a boost so it converts back quicker. Right, what tech we got next? Look, they're there. It's actually an apostle, so that apostle could attack us. But that's that's an Indian apostle converting people to Hinduism, and India is my religion. What are you playing at? Converting people to a different religion. Stop it. Your peepoism. Behave. Oh, they built those walls quick, didn't they? Uh, we'll build a harbour. Oh, we can't. Okay, we'll build the Acropolis. Oh, I thought it was Athens. That's why I thought it built the, uh, the walls quickly. But it is not Athens. Alright, plus two on this one. Plus two on that one. I think I'll go here. Right, Zanzibar City has given you a new quest. Train a musket man. Yeah, right, like I can do that. Uh, recruit a great musician. 
I can't train a musket man. How far away are we being from being able to train a musket man? Let's have a look. Right, muskets. Gunpowder. Right, that's the one we need to be able to train a musket man, so let's work towards that then. So that's number two. What's number one? Stirrups. Which we'll get in three turns. What do we need to boost this? Build an armory. Well, we can't really... Well, we, we need to build an encampment before we can build an armory. So should we do that? Should we do it in Sparta? What are you building at the minute? Is it a commercial district? Industrial zone built in two. near where I might get attacked that'll be better and I'll build it that when when the Gnosis has finished building this wall we'll build it here so we want an encampment in here yeah and we can build it in there as well it's going to take 13 turns so we're not going to get the bonus but we will build it in there and then we'll build all of our units from there and spread them out because Corinth is only tiny so we want to focus on that growing ah so Amsterdam will convert to Catholicism in 56 turns so we might be wanting to spread these two little Peepoisms in Amsterdam. Go forth and spread the good news of Peepoism. Go on, move. Right. Right. So we hold uh, in Gnosis, the encampment. <laughs> representative of the Amsterdam city-state. Ah, that means we can send them convoys and things. Send a trade route. We can't do that at the moment. Bloody hell, we've got loads of shit to do. Right, so we've met them. Uh, send a trade route. We'll do it if we can. You've built something. you built Chichen Itza. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Right, we've got some faith. And Athens is not growing because they need more houses. So, right, what can we do in here then to get that back? Yeah, steal it off you. Everyone's got requests. Right. Nossus. You want to build a district, an encampment. Yeah, do you get any bonuses for building it anywhere in particular? I don't think you do. So build it somewhere where there's not much. I'll build it up here because where you build it is where your military appear. And if they appear all the way up there, that's closer to things that might attack me. So, yeah. Spread them out. Right, we've converted them back. But there is, there is a dude there who could convert them again. Andy could attack me, and if he kills me, which he probably will, then it will, it will affect all of these cities. So I don't want him to do that. Anyway, what was I going to do? I've completely forgotten. So I look what everyone's building. Everything's looking good. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be sending a trade route to Amsterdam. So can we do this? Well, if we could do it from here, that'd be handy, wouldn't it? Because then it'd just get there really quick. Why can't I select this? Hang on, is that not me? Oh no, that's not me. <laughs> that's why I can't select it, because it's not me. Right, this one. 
building walls at the minute. Do you have the ability to build a trade route? No. I don't know how to increase the amount of trade routes you can build. I need to find that out. In fact, that's really important to know that because trade routes really help you a lot. So, you know, that would really help. Amsterdam is, is nobody yet, so let's see if we can convert it. Why has it got those three little crosses? What does that mean? Oh, look at the flipping out. The Catholicism influence, 19. So there must be loads and loads of Catholicism stuff going on over in that direction. That's going to be really hard to combat that. Crikey. So yeah. We, uh, we want to uh, spread peopleism. There's too many Catholics in the world. We could do with building a city somewhere up here. I'm giving it like a holy sight. Right, they are they are attacking. I don't want them to do that. Right. We've suddenly got this trader from somewhere. Where did this come from? So, we want to Amsterdam, we want to send a trader to. So, we're going to transport this trader to Corinth and then we'll send it to Amsterdam on a trade route. Right, you want to go up here. And, uh, investigate. Find people that are worshipping other gods, worshipping false gods, and convert them. To peepoism. Uh, we've done the industrial zone. Right. What do we want to build in here? I did my encampment somewhere else, haven't I? In Nossus. So let's crack into this library, it only takes two. Right, we are going to upgrade this archer. And he can shoot that thing in the water. So we'll upgrade him and then we'll shoot it with an upgraded unit instead. So. Spread. Ooh, we get a boost for doing this. So if we build, if we kill that unit, one of the things get a, gets a boost. I can't remember which one it is, but something will definitely get a boost. mean after Amsterdam? I don't know what that means. That might mean we we will not accept any religion. We're atheists. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Let's have a look at what it says for my religion. I don't want to show that. Right. I have no idea what that means. have enough um, for another missionary now. Ditissimas tui regni regiones diripendas ostibus dauisti. Nun propagatio adio te terret. I think I've expanded quite well. Zoom out enough. You want to zoom out and see all your empire. 
Also, it's flat, the map is, whereas on Civilization Revolution, it's a globe that spins round, and I really like that. And when you send a nuclear missile, it looks the really good. Have been that is a good game. simple as the stirrup, but few have had so catalytic an influence on history. There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. All right, let's have a look at our new policies then. So we have um, aesthetics, 100% fear, square district adjacency bonuses, not bothered about that. And Medina quarter, plus two housing, in all cities that have at least three speciality dis districts, not bothered about either of those. Merchant confederation, one gold for each of your envoys at city states. Ooh, that's pretty good. And we've got two influence points. Mm, should we? I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of my great writer and put this in its place. I'm not so bothered about the writers, I'm not sure what they what they do. Uh, mercenaries, guilds. Right, build two markets for that boost. Have eight land combat units in your military for that boost. What's this give me? Someone's already built Chichinitsa. Policy, craftsmen, town charters and travelling merchants could be good. So we'll go with that. We can't build two markets in that amount of time because we'd have to build industrial zones first. We've only got one of them. So what's going on up here? Right, our walls have been built. We need to... Sw oh, I could have done it then. I need to switch that wall bonus thing out. Some wonders. I could really do with building a wonder, couldn't I? I haven't done any of those. Right, that one's for faith, that one's for culture. Can't build any of the other ones. It's like, this is why I never build them. 141 turns? Are you kidding me? I want to have won the game in 141 turns. Well, I haven't done 141 turns yet. So let's have a look if we can steal a city back. Right, that one at the bottom, with five, we're gonna get that one. Uh, so we need to put one in there to get that five. And what actually is it? What's the bonus? Provides you with one of each strategic resource you have revealed, but you do not own, okay. So we've got that one. I'm going to put the other one in here as well, because we, then we get the bonus for the um, for this. Additional two sites in every campus district. That's brilliant. Although I think I've only got one campus. I need to make more. Right, so this trade art wants to go to Amsterdam. There it is, and it will get a gold from doing that, and it will spread peepoism. And also, it will, uh, that is what they wanted us to do, and now we've done it. So you can now shoot this dude. Continue to spread the good word of people. Right, we've converted Amsterdam. That means this guy can wander off into the wilderness and see what else we have going on. Look at their military units up here. They're much better than mine. They've got knights. I haven't got any of that shit yet. Yeah, I need to improve my military quite a bit. See, I don't want to do this, but I can't end my turn without doing it. I Because this doesn't benefit me I'd rather I just got them with my crossbow, my crossbow upgraded. So that's, I hate how you can't, you, you can't do that. Really annoying. I've got to do it, and that's going to kill uh, that thing. And now I can't attack it again and get a boost to my crossbow, man.
Well, we've already got a boost from that, but we've already unlocked the thing that it would have boosted, so we did it way too late. A joint war. No, I'm not interested in going to war, really. I, if we do this, I'm not going to go and help you at all, and then they might attack me. So no thanks. Yeah, it is a shame. You warmonger. Oh, Amsterdam is no longer peepoism. Why not? Right, that, that missionary's got to come back. Oh, yes, it is. It is peepoism. <laughs> peepoism. <laughs> Right, you're, uh, you can stay on alert in case anyone comes close. And you can wander into the desert. Where are you? I mean, can you, can you go all the way up here in one move? There you go. Keep going. Hey, hell, you can walk for miles. It's like a pilgrimage. When we can change our um, things again, our policies, we'll get rid of that one that boosts building uh, defence. Because everyone, everyone's got walls now, apart from Athens, and they'll be finished there soon anyway. So I'm not bothered about, uh, about Athens. See how it doesn't show on Amsterdam their religion at the moment. Yet yeah, now, no, it's not showing it now. I wonder why that is. Right, where's this builder? Uh, I'm going to build this sawmill, I think. And you can go and spread the good word. found someone. I don't seem to have a religion yet. Got one spread left. How many's that dude got left? I hope he's got enough to be able to convert that place. Open borders with Gandhi. I'll tell you what, how about if you want my borders open, you can give me something for it. It's not going to give me a city, is he? Joint war, open borders. Spread left. Right, you're going over there to try and convert that place. Oh, there's another place here then. Right, you can spread to here instead. Right, I imagine they've got a lot of influence coming now away from Catholicism. I want more, more. A great musician. What's everyone else's quest? So Zanzibar has a quest. Train musket men. Okay, that's the one that we can't do yet. And what's this one? 
great merchant, great musician, great merchant. Not going to get either of those and train musket men. So we need to train some musket men as soon as they're available. How do we speed them up? Build an armory. We're not going to do that. We're going to get them in four turns anyway. Alright, so Athens walls are going to be built this turn, I believe. And we need to uh, we need to switch out those policies. So we've got to get one of those things up the top left, the pink ones. I don't know what they are. It's got a policy in it because then it will allow us to change our policies. We can pay to pay them, at, uh, change them at any time, and we have got a fair bit of money. But we'll, we'll get them soon anyway. something that's going to make them grow. I want them to spread out there so we can get a farm on here. I need a builder, or oh, pop builder. Have we got a builder on there already? When this spreads, I want a builder to, to upgrade these tiles, these three, so I want to pop a builder on there. I'll wait for it to spread first. Some other town, I thought it was in here. Right. Uh, I might go on this. Like that towards six. This bloody thing, tool tip thing, is just too annoying. Need eight to get that one, six on that, and five on this. So. I'm going to put them up to these two. That's good. Well, that's from building a university next to a mountain. I didn't realise that's what I'd done. <laughs> so that's pretty handy. So that, that would have been it. So obviously my uh, my district is by a mountain. Uh, let's build the Acropolis. What's on there at the moment? Oh, I looked at this before, didn't I? I'm going to build it up there and get my... Uh, Still, I'll get two bonus. It's not three, but I want to keep that copper mine there. And you're going all the way up here. You can go to there. Enjoy your journey. It's a long journey. And you are going to here.
almost on two hours. So I'm gonna close this down in a bit and do the other, the rest of it on another video. Let's, uh, let's look what we're going on. I'll get that, that, um, that silent skill first. And I'll see if I convert those two up there first as well. Ah, Deli's converted. Damn you. Deli's gone back to Hinduism. I'll tell you what, though, it must have a massive Man influence. Is a military from animal. Glories in gunpowder and loves parades. I ain't gonna be able to build the musket then anyway because you need the, uh, is it Nita or Nita? I've never heard of that, but I need that to do it. I'm going with this. Right, so let's have a look how long it'll take Delhi to convert back based on the enormous amount of influence. Well, it won't convert back. Well, it doesn't say that it will. So I, don't, I, I think, like, the main cities don't just get converted like that. Right, that converts to Catholicism, if I don't affect it, and so does Amsterdam. Again, Amsterdam, not showing whether it's, uh, it's actually Pipoism or not. Ooh, Calcutta. That converts to Catholicism as well in 17 turns. Catholicism is spreading through here. That's not what we want. We don't want that at all. So I might try and get Calcutta. But I definitely want to get uh, Delhi back. Why did that happen? That's so weird. Right. We don't need the walls anymore for sure. The walls boost. do this. Can I build another missionary? Oh, I can't afford it. Right, you need 170 now. I'll have enough next turn. Plonk that one back on belly. What's wrong with you, Delhi? Stop converting. Look, there he is. This little bloody shit here that keeps doing it. Where are you coming from? There's another one of them there. Where are they coming from? <laughs> Trying to spread their nonsense. You worship my pet dog. That's peepoism. If you're really, really lucky, he will lick your face. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Right, brilliant. We wanted this because we want to get rid of that one, Limes. So let's have a look at which other uh, military options we have. Um, no, we're not at war with anyone, so that won't really help. None of them are all that good, really. I might as well take this and just have a cheaper army. Um, if I decide to... Well, I am going to start building my army, so at least they'll be cheaper. Um, is this anything new? two great merchant points per turn or shall I keep my merchant confederation one gold from each of your envoys at six days I've got a lot of envoys so that's getting me quite a bit of gold so no I'm keeping that right can I change my government at all no I've still only got this option A 
lot of diplomacy options there. I've got to use it, not I've got to kill it. Okay, I haven't done that. Right, Reformed Church. Have six cities following your religion. We've got that, and we've got some policies that are probably going to help religion. Government. Ah, uh, theocracy is really going to help me, so I definitely want that, so I can switch my government over. Like six cities is about enough. Oh, I forgot to make my, my uh, missionary. Oh, I'm going to call, shut this one down at this uh, this go because that's my wife home from work. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>